My name is Eamon Hickey. I come from Tipperary in Ireland. In Ireland I competed um, on the European Championships in, for ponies and juniors and jumping. When I came to Sweden I competed a lot of uh, uh, show jumping and gradually people asked me to help them with their young horses that had problems. Breeding today has changed so much. We breed much more sensitive horses with more blood and because of that a lot of top riders in eventing, jumping, dressage leave their horses to me to educate it and to start their young horses. My philosophy is to have a red line from the start to the end to keep the horse confident, focused and relaxed. This is a three-year-old gelding, um, Swedish bred, and he's here for training and the goal is that he should be able to walk, trot and canter safely with a rider on its back. And this would be the first work I will do with him. So first rub him on in a rhythm on his shoulder and keep in a relaxed way rub him on his hip and then relax to move him over rub him on his right shoulder rub him on his head in a rhythm over his eyes up here between his ears And then we go back, we rub him on his shoulder, and now I'm going to ask him to move around a little bit, move his hips over in a little turn, and we're going to stop. So we'll move him over to the, over here, good. And we move his hips around to the left, and we'll stop. So my goal is when the horse is relaxed and with me, he gets reward, and I think it's very, very good to rub them between their eyes and you get a, a relaxing effect. And even a lot of massage hair up a bit, here up between the ears. It's very important to teach the horse to open its mouth in a relaxed way. We'll do that again. Use my thumb to massage softly here. And then again, rub between the eyes. And then it's also very important to rub the horse up here. So we teach the horse when we put the bridle on to relax, rub its ears, and then open the mouth again. And this is something we can repeat very, very much. And it's even good when we give a horse a worm dose that, it, that they can accept it in a relaxed way. And again, we come back to rubbing between the eyes and over the eyes. And you can just see the relaxing effect it has on a horse. And for me, this is more important to do this than giving the horse sugar or carrots. A horse appreciates th this much, much more, this attention. You have to teach put your ears to go forward. And when I do this, I take my hand over and, and here. So if the horse puts its head up, I can just follow softly. And then the next step is just to ask the horse to, to bend a little bit. We just rub the horse under the belly, on his hip, and then we'll just move, step the horse around in a little. We can stop again. Again, rub over the eyes, between the ears. Rub his ears forward, open the mouth. And push the shoulders over a little bit, good. And push the horse around softly, ask the inside hind to step over, and reward. There was a deep breath. And we can ask the horse to bend a little bit to the left. And in the beginning, this won't always work so good, so it's to repeat till they get more and more relaxed. There, the horse drops its neck down and relaxes more and more. And the horse loses focus, get the focus back again, and reward. Another exercise I think is good to be able to hold the tail and ask them to, to bend and to accept that we can just hold the tail up and down 
in a relaxed way. And at the same time, the horse is stepping with its inside hind leg under its, st under its uh, center of gravity. So it's a, like a stretching exercise and a relaxing exercise. You can see the horse relaxes. Maybe not just there, but relaxes now. Good. So it's very important when the horse loses focus that we help the horse to get focus as soon as possible. There the horse is relaxed. And we'll do the same on the left. And this is quite important because if the horse's tail or if it gets caught in a branch when we're riding out, some horses can get really panic. So if we can teach them that it's okay, there is no need to get worried. And again, if the horse loses focus, we try to correct it and relax again. Again, there's a tractor outside, he got a little bit worried, so it's my job to get the focus back. And there came a little deep breath and drops the neck. Good. We can just open the mouth again. Again, this is something we can repeat a lot. And it's very important when you, when I work with horses anyhow, that I'm relaxed and I can do this by taking deep breaths. If I'm stressed, the horse will be stressed. So it's very important that I am relaxed and calm. Another little important step is to ask the horse to come forward. We go forward two steps and we go back two steps. And reward. We go forward two steps, forward. And we go back two steps. And in the beginning, it won't be perfect, but it's important to repeat till we get it as good as we can get it. We go forward four steps, two, three, four, and go back. One, two, three, four. And to teach the horse to go backwards and forward is for me is very important because they must back out of a transport, out of a trailer or horse box. And if we don't teach them to do it relaxed at home, it's going to be more difficult when they come to a competition. And again, it's important that it's a r we rub the horse in a rhythmic way. There he got nervous. When he gets nervous, I keep my hand here so the horse, because if I jump back and the horse will jump more on top of me. So I keep my hand here, so I keep, my, keep myself in a safe position. Rub the horse in a rhythm again and we'll do a little turn. Try and do a little turn on the forehand as good as we can. Good, and reward. And even we can just rub the horse on the outside. We change direction, change side, rub the horse on the outside again, and reward. And there came a deep breath with the help of these small exercises. So even these little exercises when we push the shoulders over, it's like a turn in the haunches. It wasn't so good at one, we'll try and get it better. Move the front around, reward. Move his shoulders over there and reward. And we rub the horse in a rhythm under the belly, good. That's when they stretch like that. And there e even the horse starts chewing. And when they chew, that, chew, it's a sign that they're beginning to relax. Another little exercise is we can rub the horse with the lead rope and just let it fall down on the outside. And then in a relaxed way, we can just teach the horse that it's okay that we have a contact here. So we'll get the horse used to the, the, pr the, the girth that we have holding the saddle in place. And if the horse wants to get nervous, we can just let it go. And this is something we can just build up. We'll just turn around again. We can build up day for day. That they learn that it's, it's okay, that it's not dangerous, that it's safe. We can rub the horse with the lead rope on the right side. Good boy. And then we can even rub him between his eyes here. 
So with the bridle the first time, he's a little bit worried. And because we've opened the mouth, have a light vibration with my fingers. So this is work we can do very, very often. If the horse gets nervous, we make it smaller. We should be able to even this, let the horse feel this here and learn that it's okay. And even rub the horse here. Ask the horse to lift it forward. If the horse gets nervous, we can let down. Massage here on the hip again. 